cleared the platform faster than I have ever seen before. We knew the shockwave would be coming fast, so we didn't even wait for an all clear. We released the brakes, hit the regulator, and pulled on the whistle for dear life, hoping that Cedric was still in the signal box to set the point. Thank God he was, because without him, we would have been killed. We sped down the line at speeds we've never gone before. We passed Donald, who was heading the opposite way, pulling so good. We found out later that he didn't make it out alive, and neither did William or Colin in his head. horrified out of all of us, and I don't blame him. While we all have some layer of protection, he didn't, so that probably motivated him to go faster. We shot past Crossley, and that's when the shockwave hit us, and it was strong. It caused the glass and the coaches to shatter and rock them side to side. Edward's front pony truck off the derail of the pole because of it, but those things didn't stop us. We could feel the heat rise, but it didn't stop until we got to Medford. Good evening, I'm Dr. Stuart Bailey. I work for the Atomic 